In this video, we're going to be going over how to enable the patient portal in OpenEMR. When you go to the globals, you would go to Administration Globals and bring up this screen here. If you were searching for a feature, because all of your default settings are located in the globals, and if you were searching for a feature, then you would type it in this box here and then click search. If you press enter, the screen will just reload without searching the global. So always click the search button. We're going to portal here. And in our instance, we have the portal already enabled. One of the things you will need to change is the URL that you have here to your site's URL. So it displays properly to the patient when you enable it, their, their account. So you could go over the other features that are available within the uh, patient portal, and you might want to enable and disable those that are appropriate for your facility. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Now, when we go to a patient's chart, and within their chart, you'll see at the top here where it says patient, por patient not authorized for portal. You would go into the demographics and under choices, allow patient portal. You want to change this to yes. And then you want to say allow email, and yes, and allow SMS, yes, of course. We're going to save this. Now you can see that it says create on site portal credentials. From here, when you click this button, It will create credentials for the patient to log into the patient portal. Oh, I forgot something. One of the things that you have to have in here for the patient is an email address. Contact. You can use the same email address for each one of the so. Okay, that should be all we need for now. A mobile number would be fine, would be great to have. So let's go back and save that. And let's go with create portal credentials. As you can see now, it uses the patient's email address as their login name. Their login name is not their account name. That is different than their login name. The login name is their email address and then it will generate a password for that patient to log into the system. When you click save, it will generate a printout that you can uh, print out and hand it to the patient if they're standing in front of you. Otherwise, it's going to email these credentials to that patient's email address. Thanks for watching.